Hello, in this video let's discuss the next question. Here is the question, write it and give it a try. Developers are working on a reduction algorithm that processes array of integers using the following steps until the array is empty. So select some prefix and append the minimum exclude value of that prefix to the array, result array and remove the first key elements and repeat the whole operation till the array becomes empty. We have to return the next score of the largest array possible. So let's see this is the given example. 2, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 0. Let's do the first operation for up to 1. If we try to remove all these, the least minimum value that is not there here is 5. So add 5 to answer. And the left array is 2, 0. And from this, let's try to remove the whole array. And the 1 is the least value that is not there. So add 1 to answer. And finally, array is empty. So do, stop doing operations. And maximum value that we can achieve is 5, 1, which is the answer. So constraints are n is up to 1, 5. And vj is up to less than or equal to n from 0. What is what is the meaning of leg square of the largest? Let's say we have 9 and we have other vector 2 to 10. Which is leg square of the larger? 9 is larger because the first value is larger. Similarly, if we have 9, 7 and 9, 2, which is more? 9, 7 is more because the length is same and 9 is equal to 9. So 7 is greater than 2. So this is obviously greater than the before one, then 9, 2. So the first aim is to maximize the first value so that instead of try to prioritize the length, we can try to maximize the first value so that we can get the maximum answer like this. We have to maximize the answer of 0 first. So for this, what is the k that we have to select and what are the possibilities for answer of 0? So let's say we have got answer of 0. What are the range of the values? What is the k that we have to select are the most important questions now. We can get answer of 0 6 if there is some prefix such that all 0 to x minus 1 are in that prefix. Because answer of 0 is equal to x, it means that minimum excluded number is x. When that can be x? It can be x only when all the numbers from 0 to less than 0 to less than x, that is x minus 1, are in the selected prefix. So let's say this is the original example. And for 2, it is 0. The least value that is not there is 0. For 2, 2 is 0. It is 0. It is 0. And for now, 0 is there. So what will be the mix? It will be 1. Because 1 is the next value that is not there. So this is 1. And now it is 1 again. So what will be the value? It is 5 because 2 is there, 3 is there and 4 is also there. And for now what is the answer? Simply it is 5. Now also it is 5. So what is the maximum answer of 0 that we can achieve? From here we can see that the answer is 5. Because we cannot get 6. Because 6 is not present in the given array. So even if we select the whole array, the answer will not be 6. What is the maximum value? 5. Because if we start selecting the prefix with this, the first value will be 5. So it will be the least value that is missing in the array because 5 is the least value that is not there. So this is one of the best possible answers for answer of 0. What is the maximum value of this? We got that one of the val possible values is 5. And what is the range of the values that we can get? What is the highest value that we can get for any possible test case? Given size is n and the values are less than or equal to n. It means that 0 to n minus 1 all are present in the given array. So what will be the mix? It is n because all el other elements are present in the array. So it will be n. So the maximum possible value of mix in any possible value is n. So it is 5 and it is n. So the first thing that we have to do is to find the set of elements that are not in the given array. So that only they are the possibilities of values in the final answer. So take a set and insert all the values from 0 to n in the set and store the frequencies of all the present values in the vector and remove the occurrences of map from the set values. So finally set will be the set of values which are not there in the given array. So what is next? So the next we have to track the number that we are searching for. Because from this example we got that we are trying for 5. So obviously we have to maintain some variable saying that this is the next value that we are trying to add to the answer. So we have to track. So what it will be? Let's assume that it is first. And it will be simply star of h.begin. Because 5 is the least value that is not in the given array. So star h dot begin is the least value that is missing in the array and that is originally first. And we are aiming for the answer of 0 to be first. It just means that this one. Next, what? when can we push this to the answer? We got that we are going to add first to the answer. And when we are going to push that into the answer? We can push only when all the numbers are 0 into 0 to prefix, 0 to first minus 1 are existing in the prefix as we have discussed before. So how to track this? We can simply track this if we try to store all the 
values that we have added so far in the value in the vector let's say this this is the vector and here the condition got satisfied so how can we know that condition got satisfied we can know only if we are trying to store some set of values that occurred before now up to now so that we can do some preprocessing and find are all the numbers from 0 to x minus 1 are in the present set or not so surely we have to track the elements taken so far and now let's come to next example so let's assume that 1 2 7 1 0 and this is the index where the condition gets satisfied so we are trying for 3 let's assume first is equal to 3 and this is the index where because this is the first index where 0 1 2 and at this index we will get that all elements in the before one gets satisfied so let's say all elements up to here are there and the next index we can get that all the elements are there so this is the index where we got that we got a prefix with all elements from 0 to 2 so 1 the set is 1 for 2 it is 1 2 and for 7 it is 1 to 7 it is 1 to 7 and it is 0 1 to 7 and now at the next index we have to check whether all elements from 0 to first minus in addition set so how can I do this if we try to do upper or lower bound we can get an iterator because lower bound of 3 will return this or upper bound as 3 is not present lower and upper bounds are same and we will return the 7 and the value is not important the count is important so to, for the count we can use distance to get the count but count but the distance function is often so we cannot simply use this because we want in off one or login so how can I do this some other simple the main problem here is we can have elements which are greater than 3 as well so if we are sure that all elements are less than 3 then we can simply find s dot size because s will contain only less elements then if that size is equal to 0 to first minus 1 then we can get the answer but now the possibility is we are having greater numbers as well so we cannot just find s dot size so what if we can store elements only if it is less than first yes then we can do and we can get the answer but let's discuss about one which is most useful for this case because we got a condition to how to do this and we got a simple idea but let's discuss another idea which is very more used for this as well and it is simply ordered set it is simply ordered set so what is ordered set it will be set of number of elements less than k in lo of login so ordered set, ordered set is simply it have all properties of normal set and it has one extra benefit where it can return the number of elements less than can offload which what we want exactly want right now so we can use ordered set instead of set so that we can get this in off one or off login so for now what we are trying to track set interface it represents that the elements that are missing in the whole array and ordered set of till we discussed why this is order of set order set and we are tracking this for the present prefix and in first is the least value that we are searching for and we are trying to add in the push in the answer and now let's discuss the next one so this is the whole array and up to this we got the all numbers till 0 1 2 let's assume first is 3 and this is the index where we got the all numbers 0 1 2 so we, we discussed that yes is the set of missing elements in the whole array so this is the whole array and yes is the missing elements of this so let's say we have got one zero one two. So we are removing this from the given array because it is given that we have to remove the array and we have to add mix of this to the answer. So let's say we are added three to the answer as well. We have to find the answer for this and we have to add in this as well because this is the whole vector answer and we have added three for this prefix and for this vector we have to add in this the next one. So how can we find yes for this one? We have to traverse the whole array and find new s similar to the before one no because it will be greater than n square for sure because after doing operation we have to traverse the whole array whole rest of the array and we have to find set of missing elements in this which is very bad so how can we maintain this so because we are removing this from the set so initially we are tracking the frequency as well so at an element at an index we can try to reduce the frequency and if it frequency is, is equal to zero it means that it is not in the rest of the array so let's say we have 1 3 and 6 6 is also 3 is only present 0 to 1 let's assume that this is the one and 3 is only present in this one so at this index we got all from 0 to 3 and assume first is equal to 4 
So we are removing this from the whole vector. So only 3 is here, but 3 is not here. So yes new must contain 3 because it is not here. So how can we maintain this? So while we are traversing the prefix, if we try to reduce frequency and if it becomes 0, and we can add to yes, it means that it will be missing elements for the rest of them. So instead of traversing every time, we can simply use a small manipulation while traversing the vector itself. So there are two cases what if we don't have all numbers less than first. So it means that we cannot add, add answer just now. What can we do in this case? We can't just do anything, just go forward until the condition gets satisfied. But next time when we do operation, this index will be removed because we discussed before. So reduce the frequency and FT0 in the student center. And obviously insert into till. Because obviously, let's say this let's say this, we are at this index. And at this index we can know that all elements from 0 to first minus 1 are in the before one. So what will be the new till? It will be only this. Because the new array is starting from this. And this element will be the first value of the new vector. So obviously add into till. Even if the op we are not doing operation, add into set to indicate that yes, this the number is present in the till in the till set. And let's discuss the next example. So one one two we have taken this four and let's assume that this is the index where we understood that all elements from zero to are in the previous one. So what can we do at this index? So we are doing an operation. So add first to answer because we have done operation and mix of this is what it is simply first. So add ans add first to answer and then similarly reduce the frequency and if it is zero insert into center. And now we have to do two things. What? Because till up to here will contain zero, one, two, seven, right? Because these are elements that are in the prefix. And from now till must be only containing this element. Let's assume that this is nine and this should be nine, only nine, because this is the new array starting from nine and it must contain only nine and not zero, one, two, seven. So we have to make the till empty and we have to insert this back to till and change the first because we added the first to answer it means that the old case got resolved and for the new array we have to find the first and we have to make new till so how can we do this let's assume this is first and this is second how to clear set simply if we try to think of till dot clear it will be off n which is not good and coming to second one what is the new first what will be the new first that is the main question for the first one instead of till dot clear we can simply swap with the empty set because we can create a new empty set and we can simply swap which will be off one. So in this way we can try to reduce the complexity of swapping also. And coming to second one, we discussed that in this we discussed that yes will be always updated missing elements for the rest of the array. So we, we came here and what is the yes now? It is simply the missing elements in the new vector because we discussed before. So what will be the new first? It will be simply s dot first as we have discussed in the beginning. So even now it will be simply star s dot begin because we are updating s as missing elements of remaining array. So let's discuss the code. So is it completed? No, we are missing a small one. What if initially first is equal to zero? It means that for example, let's assume that one, one, three is the given array and the least element is zero. Obviously if we traverse the whole array, we can add zero. So we got the first value because zero is missing. So anyway, zero must be added. So we got the first value. What is the next priority? So next thing is to prioritize the length because we got the first value and then we try to maximize the length of the value, length of the answer. So we can select every value to get the maximum answer possible. So we can do operation for every element because one, one, three, if we try to select the whole array answer will be zero. And if we select zero, the answer will be one. If we select one, it will be zero and remove this. And we can take one again and add this zero to answer and zero to answer. So in this way, if the first is zero, answer will be n times of zero. So let's discuss the code. We are simply inputting the values and updating the yes. It contains the missing elements in the whole vector initially. And we are making first and if first is equal to zero, we are printing zero n times and we are maintaining ordered set. And how to check whether all elements still less than first are existing. So the function is order of key. So till dot order of key first returns the number of values that are less than first. So if this is less than first, it means that when the condition satisfied, when the all elements from zero to first minus one are existing. So what is the count? It is first. So if till dot order of key first is equal to first, it means that condition got satisfied. But here it is not equal to first. It means that we did not complete the 
condition and we are not going to add first to answer so now we can do simply frequency radio reduction and adding it to till and adding it to set if the frequency becomes zero else it means that our condition got satisfied so we, what we have to do here we have to clear the till first so simply swap with the new one it is off one and clearing the till and we are pushing answer because we completed the operation and similarly find replace the new first because it will be simply as dot begin and now insert till to this and similarly reduce the frequency and insert if it becomes empty and finally print the answer so is the question completed there is a very small edge case now let's say we completed the traversing the whole array is the answer going to be answered or any modification let's say the array is 110 and it is 3 so we are at 1 we are adding it to 1 all now let's just this one till the order of key not equal to first because it must be 3 because it must contain 0 1 2 so no here it is no here also it is no so when the array is completed we did not do operation any time so answer will be null because we did not add any any value so what will be the final answer it will be 2 because it is simply the mix of the whole which is first initially because first is initially 2 here and we try to do any operation and if the operation is satisfied then we are pushing into answer but here we done the whole array operation but we are not able to do operation so finally we have to print two as well because we did not do operation now we will do the operation for the whole array which is two which is simply first so just print the code just print the first value so in this way we can find the answer in of n log n if you have any doubt comment below see you in the next video